Um, just a reminder, this, this is Friday. Uh, so... So, okay. Um, Friday, it's Friday, okay. Welcome to the welcome to the third day of our um, online meeting. Um, please, Jesus, Jesus, turn on, turn on your micro. Jesus, please. Mila, Mila. Jesus has the micro. On. Okay, thank you, thank you, fantastic. Okay, welcome, welcome to everyone from Latvia to Bulgaria, Greece, Italy, Spain, and here in Portugal. Hello. <coughs> Sorry. After this um, starting moment, uh, breaking highs moment, um, we are well known because we are good dancers. So imagine that if you were <laughs> in Portugal, uh, last night and maybe tonight uh, would be very nice. So, again, you are invited to come. So, today, what we have, we have, uh, we have uh, the third day and the third day, the third meeting. Hi, Tonya. And uh, I think you remember this. I will try to be the background. Well, I brought this present from Kefalonia. We went there and uh, our colleagues uh, uh, offered this. It also offered a visit to this, uh, oh, sorry, to this cave, legend, myth, uh, Greek myth, legend. Uh, oh, yes, this is a good, uh, this is a good subject for an Erasmus uh, project. We also have histories and uh, um, legends and myths, and that would be nice. So, yes. We will open today the sweets and it will something for us to eat. Thank you. Thank you for your offer that when we were there. So I'm here with students and we will share it. Um, I wish you a great day. Uh, today we will have in this is the first part we will have the, um, the blue carbon um, protocol, the lab. We will do it and you will also uh, help us <clears throat> to analyze the data that we can uh, get it from this uh, protocol. We have some data and we need your help to uh, read it, understand it and make some conclusions. Uh, so in the first part, uh, some of your colleagues, uh, Portuguese students, uh, I mean, uh, Mateus, Cruz, Lia, Caetano, uh, Diogo, and Laura, um, they will uh, introduce, present, share, do the protocol with you. We already have this, the first part that we all know, and we have the evidence of it in the movie, film that we make it um, about that, the, the, the pre lab, the preparation of the lab. Uh, and uh, after the, the lab session, the workshop, uh, we will make a, a short break. And then in the second hour, I may say so, we, uh, we will have the, what uh, we call it the Spanish uh, challenge. It was made by your colleagues from Spain, from uh, Villa Vicar, uh, and we will do it. So um, we are, um, Preparing. I'm uh, waiting uh, to see if uh, Mateo say that is okay to start. Uh, not yet. Okay. So one two minutes. Um, we have everything here ready. Today we, we could start on time. This we are uh, uh, upgrading ourselves. We are um, we, now. We all the problems are um, solving in in matters of. Uh, um, streaming uh, we also are streaming uh, live streaming uh, so uh, 
we will put in the chat also the link for the YouTube that you can share. You, you can subscribe our channel. Uh, <laughs> you, can, uh, you can share with your uh, families so that uh, they, they could see you online on YouTube. Um, but uh, so now we are just waiting for something that is missing. I believe so. So in 30 seconds, uh, okay, I think that we will start. Um, okay, so Okay, so uh, I think um, we are ready. So I uh, will pass. No, not yet. Oh. <laughs> um, almost. Almost students are getting ready. Okay, and. Um, I will mute myself and then um, I will pass the floor to Mateus. Mateus will be the first. Okay, uh, okay. Um, yeah, okay. Just to check the order again. So uh, I will pass, uh, nevertheless, I will pass uh, the, the floor to uh, Mateus so that uh, Mateus, the floor is yours and uh, uh, say good morning to everyone. Boss. <coughs> Hi everyone, I am Matheus and today I'm here. Can you hear me? Mas conseguem ouvir-me? Ah, não responderam. Espera aí. Speak in English. Speak in English. That's normal, Matheus. Don't worry. That's very normal. Um, well, I need... Uh, we will share the screen. We will share the screen. And Rita, uh, Oscar, please, if you could sh um, give permissions to uh, Rita Guerreiro to it's share this. Rodrigues. Guerreiro is, is louder. Sorry. <laughs> And Rita, yes. try, try it. And Rita, uh, try to to share the screen. There are so many that I forgot their second name. <laughs> okay. So, hi everyone. I am Mateus, and today we are here to present you a work that we have done 
to analyze the car blue carbon in samples of our our coastal ecosystem. Hi, my name is Hi, I am Diogo. And hi, I'm Leo. <laughs> okay, so first of all, we will, uh, I will make a quick th uh, theoretic introduction to our work. So uh, as you may know, uh, the, our team are the human impacts on coastal ecosystems. So coastal ecosystems are some of the most productive on earth. They provide us with essential natural services such as coastal protection from storms and nursery grounds for fish. We also know uh, that they provide another integral service, sequestering and storing blue carbon from the atmosphere and oceans. And so they are an essential piece of the solution to global climate changes. The bigger picture of blue carbon is one of uh, coastal habitat conservation. When these systems are damaged, an enormous amount of carbon of carbon is emitted back into the atmosphere, where it can then contribute to global climate change. But what is blue carbon? Blue carbon is the carbon stored in coastal and marine ecosystems, such as mangroves, tidal marshes, and seagrasses. These ecosystems sequester and store large quantities of blue carbon in both the plants and the sediments below. For example, seagrasses cover less than 0.2% of ocean floor, but stores about 10% of carbon buried in the oceans each year. Seagrasses are being lost at a rate of 1.5% per year and have appro approximately 30% of historical global coverage. No. no. Okay, so in this workshop, we will show you the procedures that must be made in order to evaluate that sequestration, which is reflected in the percentage of organic matter in the samples. So we already collected a lot of samples. So now together we will reach real, res real results based on those samples, uh, analyze them and try to reach a conclusion about how the sequestration of blue carbon works and how it is affected by other variables. So let's go. So I think we can go to, to the labs now. So let's go. Yeah, come on. Oscar, um, I need permission for the other um, account to enter the Zoom room. Sorry, just um, <laughs> small details, come on. Yes, now we're ready. So I'll start by waiting the containers before. 
Okay. Let me just write that down. Okay, next one. And we'll do this procedure to just one last to exemplify. <laughs> Okay, so that's done. Yeah. Nalia, take over. Okay. So now I'm putting five grams of each of our samples in our containers. This one was was took uh, near a plant called Spartina. Okay, so I think she said Deutsch. Okay, so that should be around five grams. Yeah. yeah. So now I'm gonna take a sample from from a place that was near a plant called Zostera. This one is very liquid, so it has a lot of water. It's here. I I need to check the weight of the container. A bit more. So the container was uh, around two grams. Okay. So I think it's good. Should have around seven. So that's the the Thank actual you. sample weights. Five grams. Yeah, and you have to write it down. Okay. So this is done. And now we're, we're using a sample that has little to no plants. Okay. So how much was the container? Around two. two 600. Okay, so a bit more and we're good. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay so I think it's perfect. Yeah, Diogo. <laughs> we have them? Okay. They're done. So let's take these wet samples to our drying oven. Okay. Open that one. Okay. So put them here and set, set up the, the program for it to dry during uh, more or less uh, 48 hours. After that, all the water in the samples should have evaporated. And after that, we can take them off and they should look something like this. These ones uh, were previously made and uh, were here uh, like uh, 48 hours before. As you can see, they are totally dry. And so we now will wait those to see the difference. That means the difference between the wet samples and the dry samples basically means the water that were in those, in those samples. So, okay, so on. now I'm gonna weight the samples, make sure the it's in zero. Okay, Mateus, can you register? Okay. Yes, register? Of course. Okay. 
So done. Okay. So and we will refer this procedure yeah, to the exactly. other ones and register. But for now, let's take them to the other one. Yeah. Okay. So uh, this oven is different from the last one. The last one. Uh, will um uh, wait please diminish will diminish yes. I don't know if that's a word but <laughs> what should be okay so here we have this very sophisticated equipment that we have in our school yeah <laughs> we are very proud of it okay so let's open this and place them here then we should close the door because this safety this safety lock and then program it to to burn during uh, more or less five hours after that we can open it and take our sample lock just like, like last time we already have those that are already burned as you can see the color changed a lot it looks pretty much like sand because all the organic matter that was there was burned. So, as a final step to our procedures, let's take those to the first room and wait them. Okay. So, the difference in weights between the last ones, the dried ones, and the burnt ones would be our organic matter that was born. I don't know if that makes sense for you right now, but we'll get to that, into that later and explain exactly how it works. Hi again. Now go. we're waiting this sample. Okay, so 6,588. Okay. Okay. Just one more. Okay. So 6,100. Okay. Okay, perfect. Then we repeat one, the other yeah. one. But now let's go back into the into our, our first room and uh, talk about more about a bit of theory. Shall we? Yeah, let's go. No, I never thought. So now we have a little game to you for you to play. We have a Kahoot, which I'm about to share with you. OK, I think I'm sharing it with you. So the yes, thing yes. is 7 to 4, 8, 9, 8, 2. 
Can you please join us? Nadina, okay, we have one. <laughs> it's a start. Elizabeth, Carly, Dario Iludo, he hards, okay. Zakarai, nobody knows me. Christiana, okay. Oh, building Curtia. Tia. So, are you all in? Nope. <laughs> Okay, now it's uh, already 24. Uh, as you see, teachers can also do this uh, quiz. That's okay. Don't be afraid. <laughs> um, yes, Steph, 25, 25. We are uh, 40 participant, participants in this uh, event online. So, um, well, maybe not all 40 we'll uh, do it but uh, okay 25 um, some of you are with colleagues in the same room but you have uh, your smartphones okay okay portuguese uh, students you can also participate you can uh, I think that, uh, okay, we will start the Kahoot, so, okay, welcome, Katarina. Uh, so, um, so uh, let's go, the, the code uh, for the game will be um, uh, shared so that you can uh, participate, but let's go, Mateus. So, let's start. So blue carbon is the carbon captured by coastal ecosystem. I'm sorry, it is in Portuguese, but the blue one is true and the red one is false. Blue carbon is the carbon captured by coastal ecosystems. Blue, true, red, false. <laughs> OK, everyone got yes. it. Amazing. <laughs> Carlis. <laughs> Where can you find big amounts of blue carbon stored? Coral leaf, rips, tidal marshes, savannas, or deserts? Where can you find big amounts of blue carbon stored? <laughs> so, OK, almost everyone. Three, two. One. Oh, tidal marshes. Okay. Nadina, hi. <laughs> <laughs> so, which of which of these may promote the sequestration of blue carbon? Presence of fish, presence of industry, presence of trees, or presence of seagrasses? 
which one of these may promote the sequestration of blue carbon? So almost everyone. Okay, I think everyone. Okay, most of you got it, right? Yes, of course, presence of seagrasses. Trees is about the green carbon, not the blue one, <laughs> but it's okay. And Nadina still leading. <laughs> Organic matter is rich in carbon, zinc, iron, or allium. Organic matter is rich in, okay. This one is pretty easy. Okay, carbon, of course, the, the main character of this project. <laughs> so, <laughs> Nadine, okay. So the last one. When can seagrass soil samples be collected? During summer and spring only, during high tide, low tide, or at night? So what do you think? Okay, almost everyone. Okay, okay, during low tide, that's of good. course. Yeah, that's good. This one was the most difficult one. <laughs> So the kaut is yes. Jonathan <laughs> Rainies. And, and Nadina. Nadina. <laughs> <Woo -hoo! laughs> very good, very good. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. So now so now that we have all the data that we need, uh, we can start making our calculations and analyze our results. So that said, let's divide you all into smaller groups and let's start, okay? So let's go. Now it's uh, Oscar work, you will split um... Uh, you uh, and, and spare you. Um, yes, and, uh, yeah, we'll split in, I think, three, four uh, Zoom rooms so that you can, you will work in groups, uh, you will analyze data, and uh, in 10 minutes, we'll come here and uh, share the, the results. See you soon. I think that room number one will be just for teachers. So,
Sorry.
Já está? Já está? Olha, despaz. Okay, so, so can everyone hear me? Yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. So, we have divided into some groups, and most of you uh, have come to the conclusion of the percentage of organic matter in the soils. So, the values for, uh, for, for each sample are not the same. And according to the kahoot you made earlier, some of you might have some conclusions or hypotheses on why is that. For example, you can see that uh, you can see my screen, right? Okay. I've been told you can. You can see that the, the percentage of organic matter in the uh, in this area with no vegetation is the lowest. And here, near Zostara, in the zone two, it's the highest. So, can anyone take conclusions on that? Can anyone try to make uh, an hypothesis on that? So, what about Athena and uh, Krisa? You were in my group, and we didn't we didn't uh, quite finish the table. But I think you can you can pretty much tell why why did this happen? No. Uh, not really. Okay. 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 So. Uh, you can hear uh, in the study science. No one is ever is everyone uh, from uh, studies maths and uh, or human humanistics or languages. There's no one from science. Well, we are all from science here. Okay. So uh, since uh, since no one can uh, really come up with come up with an, an hypothesis, I will I will tell you my own. So basically, the percentage of organic matter is influenced by the presence of plants. In our coat, you, you saw that the sequestration of carbon can be promoted by the presence of seagrasses. That's precisely what's happening here. In the areas we don't have any plants, the percentage of organic matter is very little. In the ones we have plants, the percentage of organic matter is much bigger because the plants sequestrate the carbon that is in the atmosphere and in the ocean and in the uh, marine ecosystems. So the carbon, the carbon that is dissolved in the water, uh, precipitates and gets stuck and gets um, stuck in the soil. I don't know if if you exactly know what I mean by that. But the point uh, is that these plants are very important uh, to the um, to revert and to 
um, to make a difference against global climate change. Because, uh, as you all know, uh, carbon in the atmosphere is a greenhouse gas, and so it raises the the temper the global temperature. So these little plants that cover a very little area of the ocean can make a huge difference. And so to um, to implement conservation conservation measures and to keep the, their populations healthy is very important. And uh, myself, I learned about a lot with this project, and I enjoyed a lot doing it. And uh, I hope you, you one day can also visit us and understand just how, uh, how beautiful and important it is to conservate something that makes a difference. And yeah, that's it. <laughs> Thank you. Professor, uh, can you take it? Yeah, thank you. Mute your phones. Um, yes, it, it, this is our results. Um, um, and so we show it, it is a very easy, uh, sorry. Um, uh, we show you that this is a very easy protocol to, to do. Um, and you can do it in, at your school and we can do it there if we have, um, a seagrass meadows ecosystem or not, we can um, uh, monitorize the, uh, the, the tidal uh, areas um, about this uh, carbon, the blue carbon that yesterday you um, saw it in the presentation from Marcio Martins. Um, just to say that yesterday also we were live streaming uh, on YouTube. Um, the link was shared and we continue to share. In, uh, <clears throat> in the IFFL channel from our school, and you can revisit and you can uh, see again the presentation if you have any doubts. Uh, besides, of course, we have the twinning platform and we have uh, a drive folder where are the protocols and you can ask your teachers if you also want to continue. Um, there was another thing that I want to say it, about these protocols, that this, this data, that you um, gather. Um, University of Algarve has um, a web page uh, to do where we can do citizenship science. Okay, um, we can be uh, scientists uh, sharing your results uh, with them. And we uh, mark in the map uh, um, all this observation and data. Uh, we will share it to the link in our site, Google sites. Um, okay, so uh, for the first moment of today, it, it, the end, it, it was the, the lab protocol. Congrats, uh, you uh, obtained good results. You, you uh, show that uh, these ecosystems are very important and they can mitigate uh, climate change due it to um, the increasing of um, CO2. We, uh, well, we are responsible also and very much responsible for it. You can find now also in the chat of the Zoom um, uh, conference, uh, we can, you can find in the chat um, a form so that we can uh, resist your presence. So please um, go to the chat, click on the link to the Google Forms and uh, answer it, uh, tell us your, um, your names, of course. Um, <clears throat> and so now we will do, uh, while you're doing that, we will do a five minutes uh, break so that we can relax and to release, uh, um, uh, we can stretch our legs mainly. Okay, so five minutes break, it's okay. See you soon.
the soul of Olhão can't be defined. Here, we carry the Ria Formosa in our heart and the sea in our soul. This is the land of fishermen, and our love for the sea is reborn with every tide. Let yourself be captivated by an architecture you will not find elsewhere in the world. Wander in the maze of the streets of our typical neighborhoods with its whiter than white houses and terraces. Get to know our ancient legends of enchanted Moorish women. The riverfront and markets hurly-burly runs in our blood. Around here, only the freshest fish is king at the table, and to stroll around Olhão at mealtime is to immerse yourself in a dazzle of genuine smells and flavors. The riverfront is the starting point of a short boat trip that leads you to a paradise of golden sand beaches. And it's because we love Olhão that we want to show you our home. our town either by land or sea and be sure to find in your lawn your home in paradise.
Okay, hang. On. Hello. Yeah. Yeah. I just just a small um, push. Uh, so I was saying that uh, okay, five minutes. Uh, well, Portuguese five minutes. Uh, normally is like that. We have to um, to uh, to enjoy the the sunny day that we have today. Oh come on! It this, this took a lot of trouble to uh, arrange uh, sunny days for you, and you are not here. Ah, okay, <laughs> let's go. Uh, so now now we go to the second part. Okay, this moment will take uh, a little while. Um, um, I must uh, just starting by uh, saying a big thank you, thank you to the the Spanish colleagues and uh, that also created this moment. Um, I think that um, I will give uh, um, the floor to Jesus or uh, Mila or someone. Uh, maybe uh, before it, I will just show it. Uh, Oscar, if you can allow me to share my screen. Um, okay, thank you, thank you. So um, what I want to show you, it's our, okay, in our, in our Google site in the, for this event today, day three, first is done, the break is also done. So now we are going to hear to our um, Spanish uh, challenge. Okay, they created a um, uh, challenge, um, a riddle, um, uh, so you can solve it. That's, the instructions are here, and the link for the genuinely um, it's also here. That we can, if you have any problems, please tell us. And uh, as the Jesus will explain, um, we will form six groups. Uh, teachers could be mixed also with the with the students or just a, a room for for the teachers. And uh, so that so that you have to uh, collect some uh, answers. You have to, of course, uh, answer the riddles and the responses. Uh, you can um, write it in these uh, in these links that you will uh, get it here. You go to a Google Sheet that you can um, fulfill or fill with your uh, answers. So you will find the instructions and um, the link here in our uh, site, okay? That was shared with you. So, uh, Emmanuel, excuse yeah. me. Could Tell you me. please copy the, the link uh, uh, to the yes. chat? Because okay. it's not very easy for us to, to go now to the site. Okay, just... Uh, ta Done. Okay, in the Thanks a lot. yes, all for you. Uh, in the our so in the chat is the link for the, our um, event site. I can show it. So now I pass the floor to uh, Jesus or Mila or tell me, and uh, now you can explain at least how it works, and then we will form the rooms so to play it. Okay, the floor is yours. Hi everyone. Uh, this challenge uh, was made uh, for all a lot of a lot of teachers and students of our school. And I would like to present this challenge to uh, like a summit of this project and continue to learn, continue learning, learning, learning about this exciting uh, project, okay? And um, if you want, do you want to explain the instructions, Emmanuel? You You'd like to, for me to, to, to give the instructions? Oh, well, like, I, well, I can, yeah. I can do it. Uh, I, I can no. continue, okay. 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 I will... No. Oh, it's okay. So, um, yeah. Um, okay. So, how to play? So, we will uh, we will form six groups. These groups will take a tour uh, along four routes uh, through the seabed of Posidonia Oceanica uh, meadows. Uh, this uh, uh, seagrass we found, we look at, and very beautiful in 
in a dive that we uh, took in uh, Almeria, um, they will have to, so you students, you will have to solve some riddles uh, by follow the lines of the four ships. Uh, there are uh, ships uh, for each route. Along each route, students will have to solve questions from for different subjects, physical and chemistry, biology, geology, technology, mathematics, uh, geographic and history, and physical education. And play, please take note uh, of the correct answer on the table. Uh, so you will need for sure to have uh, uh, with you a uh, pencil, uh, paper, um, uh, where you can, you will um, write the answers. Okay, uh, but you or you can also just use the Google Sheet uh, just by clicking the group that I show you um, previously. Um, okay, also you will need the calculator. Okay, and you can uh, watch is this uh, distance. Um, at the end of each route, each group must collect a code, four codes, one for each route. Okay, four codes, one for each route and it will open a secret message. Final, there is a final reflection of the project where they must choose the, you must choose the correct image that is consistent with the text. Um, okay, and I think in, at the end, we will have a kahoot about it. Um, so uh, Oscar is also now forming the, the Zoom rooms. Uh, the, the, it's not it's not easy because uh, um, we have to put uh, uh, Spanish colleagues in different rooms so that they could help us to follow to follow the um, the group. This um, this challenge uh, uh, Spain no half an hour. Eh? We need more time, uh, Manuel. Will we? Okay, we only have one hour. We need more. We need more to, to time. Do it. Really? Yeah. With the help really. of the, the Spanish uh, students, uh, we will not do it uh, <laughs> easily and more. Uh, well, you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So that we can get the idea. Uh, uh, we have okay. a lot, a lot of videos. Twenty-four mm. videos. Uh, uh, sorry, but uh, they are in Spanish, but uh, they have subtitles in, in English, okay? Okay. But we'll try to yeah. put short. <laughs> yeah, that's why, okay. that's why we, we will need the help uh, from uh, uh, Spanish. So the rooms are formed. Uh, we will do it. We will try it, okay, Mila? We will uh, see each other in um, half an hour or something. Uh, so that um, we can uh, play the kahoot. Uh, but please, uh, Spanish okay. students, help us to follow the route as okay, uh, fast okay. as we can. <laughs> okay, so we can get the codes, okay, and solve the riddles. Uh, Mila, we are just Mila, we are just having some problems because the students that uh, yesterday I asked you the names of of them, so we can put in different uh, rooms. Uh, uh, yeah. Oscar is saying that we are having problems because he can't uh, identify the identify. Students. Yeah, yeah, I know. Um, for example, uh, Ariadna, Ariadna, and Elizabeth mm. is together. Um, must be or have to be separated. But, yeah, but, but if oh, they are together in the same room or they are yeah, together yeah, in the same Ariana, computer. Ariana, Ariana and Elizabeth um, have to be separated in different, different okay. rooms. Elizabeth, Ariadna, separate okay. different rooms. And put Sonia, Sonia. ¿Y con quién está? Vale. Vale, vale, ok. Ok. Ok.
Sí, es que terminamos. Terminamos. ¿Cuántos quedan? Ay, hola. Hello, 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 everyone. Um, Oscar, please say it. No, share. No, oh, okay. Oh, okay. So. <laughs> Oscar is very shy. Okay. Oh, um, I, hello, dear students. Uh, here you are after this uh, work, this activity, so well done by our Spanish colleagues. And thank you for sharing. And thank you for uh, have done it. Um, I, I will return also to that. But just uh, um, Oscar is showing that uh, dissemination of uh, our online event already are in the um, news already the local news and uh, digital news um, in Sul Informação it's a, a journal a local journal and so we already are in the news uh, dissemination like Mila says and here is uh, in the um, social media's um, dissemination in media in media um okay so also they can watch us in the youtube channel we are live streaming and so um we reach at uh, okay five minutes to um, uh, half past one in latvia bulgaria and greece um okay it's time to end the, the day uh today we um made it the blue carbon protocol uh, continuing the yesterday um, lecture from Marcio Martin and also uh, what is about our project um, that involved science, involved uh, um, geography, involved the arts, involved uh, a lot of a lot of uh, competences and a lot of disciplines. It is an interdisciplinary um, project. And uh, um, sorry. Uh, for taking sometimes a uh, long time, but uh, well, uh, it, it is uh, these kind of events. But nevertheless, thank you for being here. Uh, in the second time we had this uh, um, collaborative work between students uh, doing this uh, Spanish uh, challenge. And once again, thank to them. Thank you to all. I hope that you enjoyed the, these uh, um, activities on the third day of our uh, e online event. Uh, now we go uh, for a weekend. We, we will rest um, for schools, for our school activities. And we will meet on Monday again at the same hour. Uh, follow the, um, the program the, on the Google site. And yes, thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for your... Bye -bye. Um, present. Bye. See you. Thank you. Congratulations See you, to Carles. the Spanish team. It was very impressive. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Yeah. Yeah. Thank Please. you so much. Mila, you are so creative. <laughs> <laughs> she, thank, she, you. She, thank, she, you. thank you. Thank you, Tonya. Thank you. Thank you, Manuel. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Manuel. Thank you, Oscar. Oh, Have a nice oh. weekend. Hello, yeah, Oscar. likewise. Bye-bye.